Anguished English, an anthology of accidental assaults upon our language, by Richard Lederer, is a witty and insightful compilation that highlights the humorous and sometimes cringeworthy mistakes made in the English language. Through a collection of unintentional errors in speech, writing, and communication, Lederer sheds light on the complexity and idiosyncrasies of English, while also offering a light-hearted examination of our linguistic mishaps. The book serves as a reminder that the English language, with its intricate rules and exceptions, is a constant source of confusion and amusement. Letterer's intention is not to ridicule or belittle those who make these errors, but to celebrate the human tendency to playfully mangle the language. He recognizes that these unintentional assaults on language are born out of innocent ignorance rather than deliberate intent. Letterer's anecdotes, culled from various sources such as student essays, newspapers, and public signs, provide a snapshot of the diversity of ways in which the English language can be misunderstood or misused. From malapropisms and spoonerisms to puns and double entendres, he illustrates the plethora of opportunities for linguistic slip-ups. The book's charm lies in its ability to resonate with readers who can recall their own embarrassing language blunders or who find themselves nodding in recognition at the examples given. Moreover, Letterer subtly underscores the dynamic nature of language. He acknowledges that while adhering to proper grammar and usage is essential, the evolution of language is also inevitable. In a world of ever-changing slang, idioms, and colloquialisms, what may seem like an assault on language today might become an accepted norm tomorrow. By presenting these linguistic missteps, Letterer encourages readers to embrace language's adaptability and complexity. Through his witty commentary, Letterer delves into the rich tapestry of language-related humor. He dissects various instances of miscommunication, showing how even slight changes in phrasing or word choice can drastically alter the meaning of a sentence. By juxtaposing intended meanings with unintended interpretations, Letterer reveals the subtle nuances that often escape our attention in daily communication. This exploration serves as a reminder that language is not just a tool for conveying information, but a medium through which the shades of meaning and intention can be delicately painted. While the book provides ample amusement, it also offers a thought-provoking reflection on the power of words. Letterer implies that a slip of the tongue or a typographical error can inadvertently reveal deeper truths about human nature and society. He encourages readers to approach language with a sense of wonder, recognizing the potential for both laughter and insight in our linguistic follies. In conclusion, Anguished English, an anthology of accidental assaults upon our language, is a delightful exploration of the quirky and often befuddling nature of the English language. Richard Letterer's collection of linguistic mishaps not only elicits laughter but also encourages readers to embrace the imperfections and evolving facets of communication. Through these anecdotes, Letterer captures the essence of language as a living, breathing entity that reflects the ever-changing dynamics of human expression. In a world where communication is central to our interactions, this book serves as a gentle reminder not to take language too seriously, while still cherishing its complexity and charm.